<laughs> hello, hello, everyone. How are you? How are how is your day going so far? It's Claudia here again from Colorway Arts. We are in now we are now final live from the National Cartonage Day, right? <laughs> I hope you had lots of fun gluing today. Let me see who is who is here with me already. I know everybody should be, you know, grabbing your stuff or closing, putting something on top of the glue to not dry. Hi, King. Oh, wow, how the time has gone by. Yes, I didn't know what I mean. Oh, I have first the issue to solve, and then when I saw it, so I, oh my goodness, it's almost time to go again. Hey, Edna, Mart, Leslie, yes, Susan, hello, what a good day. Yes, yes, Pat is here, Marita. Hi, Marita, good to see you. I'm so excited to see you guys coming here again because now we have to finish while we start in the morning, right? <laughs> and one more time, I apologize. That never happened to me. Like, uh, I mean, and the problem was really the computer was connected but it's not it wasn't charging so it was just consuming the battery like crazy and flashing and letting me know that like showing me that was it would be die and what happened is that when i i end the broadcast i'm so glad i did that so it was all saved uh as soon as i did that one minute later the computer was off <laughs> okay so then i had to go and see what 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 was going on and uh, it was the connection that wasn't working so i had to put in another place and then it worked and then now it's working the correct place again so and it is full charge so we are good to good to go and we can finish the pentagon we can do some axes and have lots of fun have some giveaways you know and but let me know here in the comments how was your day i saw lots of pictures right now in the facebook group i'm so excited laura you're here with us again thank you i'm so glad to see that you're gluing again thank you had so much fun making my box nancy said finally here from upstate new york so sorry i missed this morning okay no problem but you can see again and as i said it was with my problem we didn't do much in the morning so now you'll see more. <laughs> we had a nap. Hope I can pay attention. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Very good. Love making the boxes. It's just, oh, I like what King said. I love making these boxes. That's just fun as the cigar box. Thank you so much. So glad to hear that. Hi, Jen. Glad you are here. Marita said they had a group of girls there. That's fantastic. Thank you. Yes, three. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Very good. Yes, 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 yes. Post pictures, mighty networks. Yes, very good. So I think it's other than that a problem. And let's already. Well, where is this comment? I can't remove it. Okay. So uh, other than that problem, that let's forget it. Okay. Happen and that's it. <clears throat> Let's now plan our afternoon, right? Let's first of all, we're gonna finish these ornaments because they are so fun. I see that some people already, because probably they saw what I did with the round, some people already go ahead and finish the pentagon. That's so nice, wonderful, right? And then uh, I want to show the axis that we can do. It's a little different. And just to facilitate the process here, as we gonna use four of the axes, I already made three of let three ready. So uh, you may don't follow along with me right now, but we can follow later, okay? Because I also want to do that little quick presentation <laughs> that I was supposed to do in the morning. I can do a little bit later, and uh, we have also giveaways, right? So don't go anywhere. Stay with me. I like the different technique of finishing the bottom. Julia, thank you so much for letting me know. I was about to ask this. What did you guys like or not about that part? I remember when we did the cigar box in March, some people complain or ask, okay, I didn't like that much, the base of the box. How can I do different? So I said, okay, let me do a video. I never had that time. So now 
that I had to do these videos, I said, let's do it. More tips, of course. Now I'm saying the small little box is so set. I finished putting on interior fabric and building the box. We'll cover tomorrow. Yes, take your time. Take your time. 9 p.m. Okay. Michelle said, 9 p.m. there. Got first box done. We'll have to finish the rest another day. We're enjoying doing it today. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Michelle is also with us, always with us from UK. We, I know we have so many. I don't know. Is there anyone from Israel here? I know there's a group in Israel having fun going now. They let me know before this. Let me know in the comments if some of you are here. Maybe it's in the middle of the night there. I have no idea. I like gluing them around. Yes, gluing them around. Glad, glad to be back. Nice. Very good. Good, great idea. I like the new bottom. I like the new bottom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then I started to make the other box. Fantastic. Yes, it wasn't my intention that you finish everything today. Of course not. That's also because uh, that's uh, also why I you have 10, 10 days to watch these full uh, tutorials, right? If you are a member of the club, you will have these tutorials inside the members, so don't worry, don't rush. If you bought the kits, you also will be able to keep watching these tutorials later. And if you didn't buy the kit, you're not a member and don't want to join the membership, you can, you have 10 days. I mean, 10 days, you can do a lot of those boxes, okay? Very good. Loving spending time with you today. We are loving the boxes we make today. So much more to do. Good. <laughs> Let me see what Linda said. I can use the designs learning from this morning to decorate the cover of my folder. Absolutely. Thanks, Claudia, for the wonderful ideas. Those ideas I gave, we do not need to use just for just for boxes. We can use it so many others, right? Oh, Marsha. Let me see, Marsha. I know they have a great group there. Here from Southern Charm Quilting, Huts, Huntsville, Alabama, five newbies in five experience. And happy gluing by all. Oh, Marsha, so nice. I saw a picture with a big TV screen. Nah, happy gluing, happy cartonage gray. Everybody, high five. Mm, amazing, amazing. King said, I did the bottom of the box the old way because I wanted to get to the lead. I was impatient. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, that, it's quick, right? But we can test in another part of this concert. Is absolutely. Terry said, the drying time is the hard part. It's always, right? Isn't that or not? It's always the hard time because we have to wait. We have to put these boxes in, you know, time out and we cannot see the final result. That's why the ornament ornaments is so quick. Like I already removed my, my masking tape from this morning because it's so small. But yeah, very good. You tweak the egg, okay. I've been enjoying the tutorials before I get making tomorrow. You explain everything. Very good. Okay. So here Karen is saying that she, but I see she was watching the tutorials. She like it because then now she can make tomorrow and I explain very well. Thank you so much. It's a, a very good idea. Yes. Very good. Nice. Yes, I like it. Now I can even see your comments. This morning I was so stressed out that I couldn't read. I was reading before the comments from the morning. It was so nice. Thank you so much. But I couldn't. I was so stressed out. I was like so sweating that I had to change my clothes because that never happened. Like the computer was really flashing and telling me that it was going to die in, five, in two minutes. In one minute, I said, oh, my goodness, that's going to explode here. <laughs> so fun. Was so okay. Let me see what is this one. Was so much fun showing my husband the art of cartonage. I also enjoyed teaching my nine year young mother. Wow, Charlotte, thank you so much for letting us know. That's so fantastic! So fantastic. Now, I said <clears throat> about the bottom of this box. Uh huh. 
Nice boxes in the evening, I can sleep. <laughs> yes, Sheila, I agree. If we do the boxes like at the end of the day, then we don't need to wait that much, right? Because it's just to wait overnight and it's ready for us to remove the tape. May I see the box behind you that has a cover? A cover. What would be the cover? Let me know what is the cover. <clears throat> Linda. I have a room. Okay. I like the finish bottom. Very good. I need thicker chipboard. Yeah, that maybe Shirley. Shirley said that she needs thicker chipboard. I do love using 100 points chipboard for my boxes because I know it's really sturdy and good. This is what I have in the uh, do it yourself kits. What I know, like in the members of the club where we have all the dimensions and lots of them cut their bow out on boards most of lots of them not not most maybe but lots of them use for example 50 points and then they glue two layers together so they have their 100 points without being that difficult to cut or you have to have a cutter that is like more better to do to cut like okay oh the vip the vip basket sure here is the box it's the same basket, but then members of the club got the extra tutorials to make the lid. So now it's also, once you have the basket done, you can add the lid, right? And this is for the, right now, this is just for members of the club. By the way, the cartonage club is also, I just opened registration as well, but you don't need, if you want to join, you don't need to stop here. Let's do all that we have to do and we have, have at least two weeks with the club open for everybody to decide if you want to join us or not. It's another opportunity. It's a great opportunity for getting close to Christmas, right? And then you can even do that for the basket you have right now if you join us the club because then you have everything there, right? So it's a bonus. I always love when I do those sort of these sort of events. I always do something else, some bonus for members, of course. We are like connected we are so group a very good group and i love to reward them and do something else and more for them right does mean linda i think is that one very good yes i think is that i'm still learning this really new to me shirley i hope you like it go slow like take your time do one by one you're gonna love i hope you like it you know Char shirley we are just so passionate about that but really take your time and let us know any question. Finish bottom. The basket was one of today's projects. Yes. Could we finish the short ends of the box like the bottom? Uh, Diane, yes. A very good question from Diane. Diane is asking if, remember how we did the bottom today different than usual? How we do the sides of the box? We usually, the short sides, we cut straight. She's asking if we can do the same. Yes, why not? Yes, you can. It's just more work, but if you prefer the finishing and you think it's worth it, go ahead and do it. Test, look at the finishing. Is that better than not just cutting straight or not? And then, you know, yeah, have fun, of course. I also know like there are some people that even cut finish the short edges exactly as the long ones all around i don't think it's needed because really when you look at the box the small sides they are pressed between the long ones so you don't see that it's really hidden in between the other two that's why i prefer just cut straight but if you prefer something different diane absolutely okay in this part you can do it there you go. I need that coffee cup. <laughs> okay, sell it in your shop, please. I, I, will, I will have some giveaways for cups today. Very good. If I rejoin the club, can I get the instructions for the members lead? Of course, Leslie. If you join the club, you 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 have because they are all inside the club already. Okay. 
Elsa was saying, I can so a couple of my subscriptions to Dandy Club. It has been more than worth it. Oh, Elsa, thank you so much for letting us know. That's fantastic. Love to hear that. Lots of fun. Very good. Okay, so now let's go to the ornaments. And then we can keep, keep, keep talking here. I'll show about the club. You can talk later. Yes, yes. Very good. Oh, no, I have to share this one. I see. Stephanie said, this is my second National Cardinals Day. I fell in love with the craft last year after a challenge. So excited for this year's, year's project. So thank you so much. I cannot wait to see your, your finished projects, right? Okay, so I had more ideas for ornaments that, of course, this morning I couldn't show. <laughs> so now, before we do the Pentagon, let me just share as so simple so simple that what we did in the morning what you do did today during the boxes right you can absolutely do that so this is what i finished today okay i remove already my remove my my tape it's ready to go so what i want to share remember we did with a, a round piece you can just do an ornament with round why not here two pieces of fabric you know, a little bit of hanging and here you go. Or another round one that I put some, uh, I think this is Rick Rack, right? Or something like this. I think it is the name here. So around, look at how unique. And how about you do squares? With squares is even more easy because then you just do the two squares. And in this one here, look, instead of doing different, I did same fabric, front and side. And then I cut just another, another rectangular uh, square and I glue on the top. And then a tassel, and then here. Isn't that unique? It's a super unique. I really like this. It's super simple to do. I mean, this is something that if you have granddaughters, grandkids, Look at this. Even if you like embroidery, like even like a little bit of, <laughs> I think with this cross stitch, I was trying to make my my own pattern to make the the flower of my colorway arts is not pretty at all. But then I needed something to to show how to do the embroidery ornament, and here you go. But you can absolutely do do this, right? It's so nice. Cindy, can you repeat instructions on where to go for questionnaire? Where to go for questionnaire? Uh, you go to the to the for the quiz. You go to uh, colorwayers at colorwayers.com slash day twenty twenty two all together, no capital, all you know, small letters day twenty twenty two, and you're gonna have you go to the bottom of the page you'll find the link for the quiz okay it's really fun go and do it because then i that one i will i'm having fun reading and um, later uh, on tuesday we're gonna have another live video 10 30 already put in your schedule where i will be having more giveaways and answering more questions because i believe that from here to tuesday more people will be making the boxes and may have more questions so i think it's a good time for us to have another one right you love it. I have learned so much, and there are benefits also. All of them are so beautiful. Here are infinite dies. Made it really easy to cut. Let me share what Penny is saying because this you may, I don't really know this, but you may know. Penny says, I cut my circles and squares with Hero Arts infinite dies. Made it really easy to cut. Okay, that's so. I think if you have like a scan and cut or something like that, Cricut, you can also cut those, right? For sure. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Yes. Can you put the link in the comments? Yes, uh, Cindy, I will. Um, colorwayarts.com. Dot com. Okay, 2022. Okay. Here you go. I put that right. So this is the place that you go with all the information, uh, the tutorials for the boxes, and also the quiz and everything. Uh, 
Well, okay. Okay, so now let's go to the Pentagon. Yes, let's go for to that one. Okay, very nice. So I will be using the uh, cardstock, and I show you this morning before before we finish the live, right? I just cut here from the cardstock that I printed because I want this to uh, to be a uh, embellishment for my um, for my box. Okay, I already have one done that is right here. I already have this one, and I I want another one exactly the same, so I can put one each side of that. Okay, one more time saying if you missed this morning. Um, by the way, if you don't have the embellishment, the templates, you can send me an email, but you should have received it. If you register, you should have received it by email uh, of this. What I want to show to you very quick here is how different is depending on the fabric you choose. So if you choose like this one I show in the morning, the green one, you can see, you can barely see the star. Compare this with that, okay? So choose something very contrasting and you have better a better look of that. This one was the first one I made. I can I cannot see the star, right? I can't I decided to use the same fabrics, but I mean it's so confusing because it's not we don't have the contrast in there. And of course, if you have something really different like this, it will be lots of fun, right? Very good. Now Let's go. So I want to use the same one. So this gold I'm going to use with the small pentagon. And I use this fabric here for my big one. Okay. So you don't cut these lines because this is sort of a template for us to know where is the position to do the other one. Okay. Very good. So now let's go. As he said, as a newbie, I'm already so great way to use my This Season Mother's beautiful fabric. Oh, thank you. That will be so nice. Keep sharing with us, right? Very good. Nice. Uh, now this is important. If you glue this, if you glue this one in car in um, cereal box because you want this to be more thick then you don't glue in this part you glue, i glue this in the wrong one you glue this over the printed okay read what i said that because you will need now to apply glue in this part right here you do not apply glue over the white because you want to see these lines okay it will be so helpful in a minute so of course my glue just dry from this morning Okay. I'm assuming you can see me and hear me very well. Is that correct? Can you tell me in the comments if it is if it is all right? So what we did the full day, glue, apply glue in this piece. We are using again glue all from Elmer's, just in case you just came to this live in the middle of this live. And then you just glue here. I mean, that is not a certain way to glue at this part, okay? <clears throat> yes, can see, and here you find, very good, see and here you find, thank you so much, loud and clear, that's so amazing. Okay, so this is on this part, and then let's do the other one, so this is, doesn't matter which part. Good. Yes. And yes, the good thing also is that we can do this any size you want. Now it's very important. <laughs> Forgot to say, if you want, if you have something like this, a fabric with a design that you want to see, that's the direction of your fabric. Okay. That's the direction. So one of the pointy part, that will be your top. Look at how it is. Okay. So this is the direction for your fabric if you have something special that you want there. Good. 
So now we don't have round parts and we don't have square corners. So what do you do here? We just go around and cut about, it can be even less than half an inch. And now let me tell you, you don't need precision here. As I said so many times in my videos before, right? We don't need precision. I just go very freely with my hand, have fun, and cut like this. If you prefer using a ruler for that, feel free to do it. Okay, feel free to do it. But I'm just cutting, leaving some space here, a little less than half an inch, uh, all around following the shape of this, of this part. Very good. So now, this is this is not a square, but it's kind of too much fabric if I leave everything, okay? But if I use my corner tool and this, uh, you will see that it will not work as well because it's not a square. But if you want to kind of align this there and cut, you can. But you don't really need to, let me tell you, because this is as does not fit well. I also just go random with my freely here and cut a bit. I want here to have extra, and it can be a lot extra, not a problem, but I'm just, you know, trimming some, because this is not square. So I'm just trimming some. And you'll see next in the X that we will not trim at all because the more sides we have, less fabric we're gonna have in that corner and less important will be to cut this extra. Eh, hey, magic, time to eat. Who knows magic already, huh? Time for magic to eat. <laughs> Can you put a link to where you got your rotary cutter? I've never seen one like that before, Shirley. I love my cutter so much. I love my cutter so much. It's true cut. I bought on Amazon. I, I In my local shop, I have one or two to sell, but I bought on Amazon. It is really fantastic. I have never problem with my wrists, and I always had problem with my wrists, so um, never had any more once I started using. It's fantastic. Okay, so now that we have this, out there, it's time to go and glue. You can go all the way or you can go just in parts, okay? I will just go on part because this one is kind of a little big. But I also like to go, see, I'm going with the glue also in the corners. Same thing we do when we are gluing uh, our normal corners. Now, you can bring this with your spatula or we can even go with your hands if you prefer, but this is a little bigger. So I just go one by one and bring, what? <laughs> I think I hear tight. Yes, I said tight. And then you go again. By the way, did you answer right that question in the quiz? Huh? Hope so. I think so. I think 100% of the people answer right to that question. <laughs> Very good. So again, all the way and all the way. And this is a uh, cardstock that I'm using. So it's not super thick. I have to be careful when I fold to not kind of fold my, my paper as well. Okay. So check your corners. If you feel that is all okay, that's perfect. Mine is perfect. I don't need to do anything different here. All right. Now let's finish the other one. You may have a design. I, I think I can go directly on all this because this is smaller, okay? But because I don't want this glue to dry. So you see, I'm just moving here in the center. So I have glue all around. And let's just go there and come one by one. You don't need to go opposites. You just go one by one and fold them all. And if you notice that you have extra fabric, like so much fabric here, you can just go like this and uh, trim, okay? I don't want this to be like super, super uh, 
tight. Uh, bulky. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now we have the two pieces, like the two pentagons. And how is the position? If you have some design here, you will be in this direction, right? So your design will be right here. And then in this one, how you do? You, you follow the lines. You see, we have a straight line here. So this is not how I need to be. I need to be this way where these lines are in the top. They are in that direction. So you see, that's why I left the... That's why I left the, the, this here. So it's much easier for us to remember where is the position and do it right. Okay? Yes, Linda, they are so quick to make and so beautiful, right? Now, if you are doing same, let's do same thing we did in the, in the, in the uh, round one this morning. Let's first fold our round. And if you are using cereal box, it may be more, it may not, it will be more like a, a sturdy. So you may use like a, a bone folder or your, your spatula just to make sure that you can stay. Look at this. Yes, you can already see the star here, right? Very nice. So what do we do now? If you want, if you want this to be an ornament, Guess what? That's the time for you to glue your piece of ribbon right here. Okay? So if you are doing as an ornament, this is where you glue your piece of ribbon. I'm not using as an ornament because, again, I'm doing the embellishment that I will be gluing right here on the side of my box. So it's exactly like this. No uh, ribbon. So what I do? I just come over here on the bottom and apply the glue. I kind of prefer when I'm doing this kind of ornaments, I just go with my brush directly, right? So you see we have a, a good layer of glue. Clean your fingers if you need. Here I need a little bit of more of the glue. And then you just put right here. Now you have to open a little bit. And then it's so nice that we have those lines. So you can, you know, just align them very well. Okay. And then press a little bit to make sure that they will be well glued. Oh, and how beautiful in the Facebook group. Did you see Regina? She, she added pictures, uh, ornaments with the pictures already of her family. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. So nice. So many great ideas. Now let's do the same thing with what we did with the, the other one, right? So it's the same thing. And let me tell you, you can, let me tell you right now, if you want to do this bigger, just print it, print what I gave you bigger, the same, you know, same proportion for each of them. But if you want to do any other side and then you don't know how to make bigger this one, once you have your pentagon, the other pentagon will be drawn inside. Like each of the sides, you have the middle, okay? Make a mark in, in the middle of each of the sides and draw your pentagon, okay? So that's how you can do any size of pentagon if you want. But with the template I gave you, okay, we work here. To be very sincere, the first ones I made wasn't very good, and my husband helped me to be very precise with this template. So the star is very pretty and really the size needed. So feel free to use it, you know, and print it bigger or smaller. Do you have a template on your website, Charlene? No, I, uh, I sent by email. Let me see. I can't find the directions for the ornaments. I saw pictures in the email, but no link for directions. The directions are here, Jill. I'm doing during the live, the directions. The templates I sent in that email that you see the pictures, you probably have received the templates there. So take a look there. And in case you don't receive it, didn't receive it, let me know. OK? 
Okay, Claudia at colorayars.com, and I can send for that for you, right? I found that. Okay, good. Very good, very good. Nice. So here is just repeating the same thing we did before, right? And now, there we go. Oops, this tape don't want to stay very well. Okay, now I can take more. Yay, very good. Ready? Yes, it's that simple, my friends. It's that simple. Isn't that fun? Oh, I love it. And uh, I cannot wait to see the, the fabrics you have and can bring uh, and make this. So again, what I'm doing now, I will put in this position and my heavy iron on top and let this and let this dry, right? So that's how we do the embellishments. And once this is ready, what what I will be doing? So for example, in this small ornament, you can wait. Maybe I would say two hours, three hours maximum will be super dry. Then you can remove the masking tape. And then you glue on your box. Of course, make sure you are centering if you want to center, or maybe you want off center, that's okay. Choose the position you want, apply the glue on the bottom. So for example, this one here, I would apply the glue all over here, glue the position I want, tape very well around, and that wait more time to dry. Done? You got this? I think so, right? Let me put this here again so we can keep drying there. And now let me ask you some, do you have any questions so far? It can be from the boxes, it can be from the ornaments, whatever, because then I'm almost, so many ideas. I'm almost ready to show you uh, another, and now it's just ornament, okay? What I'm showing now would be just an ornament, but with the idea of covering a hexagon, I actually, I will give you in a minute more ideas, and I hope you like so much because I'm so excited with everything. Uh, and, uh, but I will show you here how to do the axis in a minute. Let me see, I think we have a question here, Sandy. Sandy says, I want to cut my one out a hundred point chipboard, which I understand is difficult. My question is I can glue 250 points together and use that. Absolutely, Sandy. Yes, you can. What is more easy to cut 100 points chipboard? Um, that is the video in my YouTube channel about cutting chipboard, what chipboard to use and how to cut. And you see many cutters that I have, but from that video, so many of members of the club that are cutting so much, so many of them try it and like and have the Carl cutter, what is C-A-R-L. That's the cutter that most of my followers use to cut 100 points chipboard or less, okay, uh, thick. And they are really happy with that. So it's something I know I can tell you. And, uh, but yes, if you want to cut two layers of 50 points, you glue together, put something heavy on top, let it dry completely, very flat, and then you can use for sure. Yay, Stephanie, very good. Where did you get the plastic container for your roller? Uh, this is stuff here, why, well, I mean, I bought a kit with a roller many years ago at Lowe's, I think. But you can use, I mean, really, even the uh, plastic trays for frozen food or something like this. Yeah, so any anything. You don't really need to be with those. Yeah, so, you know, my projects, love my core cutter. Oh, people are saying, like, about the, the core cutter. Kim, use, I use 50 points, cut to two of each piece and glue them together. And Kim is a... It's a exciting, <laughs> enthusiastic box maker. She makes a lot and she cuts 50 points twice and glue together. So yes. Great tool to have, very good. 
game changer. I cut pieces of 50, glue them together, work fine, Carol as well. Very good, perfect. So, so many are giving the, the uh, testimonial here, what is so good. Now, let's go to the axis. Yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this as well. And about axis, let me tell you, I have this idea in mind for so long, like, I really love the looking of some projects that quilters do using axis. I know it's so exciting. There is like the English paper piece in so many things that can be done with axis. So I, I said, oh, how about to try something that can be fun? And then I, I made one. I made, I started, I make one. And then I love it so much that I have to make more and more and more. I ended up, I ended up with a method to use axis, and I will show you this in a minute. That's not what I'm showing here. Here is just the ornament. But I want to keep in mind that with axis we can have so much more fun. <laughs> okay, so much more fun. Not just with this, with all other shapes as well. But what Get, got me started was the axis and I know I will include other shapes through axis to do something very unique. So you stay here that uh, you understand what it is. Very good. So now, now let's go to the axis here. Here, let me see, Donna is asking, have you ever done name plates? I'm trying to figure out to figure out how to do some for Christmas. Name plates, I don't, I don't know. I haven't never done anything like that, so I don't know if I got it. Okay, Donna, if you can explain just a little bit. And then let me show here. <laughs> okay, let me go to the, the, let me show what I already covered. Look at the fabric I found. Please don't ask where do I found these fabrics because it was in my stash forever. Like it was there and I just had a small piece just perfect to make my axis today. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jill is saying, being a quilter, I'm going to piece it blocks for my next box. I think it will be good, cute. My daughter just bought a house and wants the kids' names. On, oh, the kids' names on their doors. Mm, uh, Donna, I mean, there are some ideas. Like, I'm, you can just make, for example, I have a Christmas sign. If you go to my website, colorwayars.com, do it yourself, kids, you will find a Christmas sign. So it's a, a, a shape and then uh, that you can cover. And it is written Merry Christmas, but then you can write the name of your kids or whatever you, you need, like with vinyl or maybe you find some paper letters that you can embellish or something like this. You can do different shapes, okay? So that's something you can absolutely do. Very good. Nice. Okay, so now let's go back here. So those are this uh three so let me cover this one and you already receive you receive a template to glue on the printed side of your um of your cereal box as well in the same pack that you receive all the other templates right so now it's here let me cover this not so much different than the than the other one and then you you, uh, in this one, you have if you have direction in your fabric, you will be gluing in this direction right here. Okay, so not in this, in this part, but the pointy one goes top and down. So this is the direction. This is the direction of the fabric. Okay, so let me cover this one very nice and very quick here. Same thing we did for the pentagon, it's just one more side. But this one more side, it helps us because now we don't even need to cut the extra. I don't bother with that because it's not much fabric unless you left a lot extra. But if you leave just a little bit, I just go like this as quick as I can, you know, apply the glue all around. And then I even go with my hands, okay? You can go with your spatula or just go like this and bring everything it's covered now for the axis 
I go on the, the back side, okay? And I will cut all these extras. I don't, uh, uh, don't want extra because it may be, uh, it's because we didn't cut, maybe it's because we didn't cut before, right? So I cut now. Uh, so it's, it can be your choice also. If you want to cut before a little bit, but you will need to cut some now. Yes, Shayla is saying maybe you can use a chalkboard instead of fabric and then you can write the names. Yes, good idea. So now we have those four pieces of four pieces of axis, right? So one of the things we can do, if you are a uh, 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 how can I say a quilter? You may say, oh, I can do this one here, I can do this one here, and I can do this one here. Isn't that? And then what I start doing, of course, then I, I didn't put my fabrics in the right position, but then we start playing and doing some sort of, of uh, the designs that you guys do with English paper piecing, right? Having fun with that. And that was my first idea. I started with that and then I went a little different and I love it. I, I found some difficulties and then I improved. So I will show in a minute. Don't, don't go anywhere. So now let's finish because this is an ornament, as I said. Now I want a ruler. A ruler. And uh, you can use a bone folder. You can use a score tool. Okay. Something that you will look, for example, here. This is the middle of that. Okay. So on the back of this, on the middle of this, I will be going and scoring a line, okay? Because I want to fold them very well in the middle, okay? Very well in the middle. So you will be doing that to, it can be in this side as well, but I prefer here. So you will be doing this in all of them, I'm using cereal box, but you can also use poster board, okay? You can use, and the best is also if you can see that they are very aligned here, okay? I, I don't want to take a lot of time, so I will, mine will not be super aligned, but take your time when you are doing yours to know that you are aligning them very well. They will help you with the better finish at the end, okay? But I, I have more things to show, you know, so I am looking. So make sure that you are kind of aligning here out the well. Good. And one more. One more. One more. Okay. You guys are so quiet, it's all right. Okay, I hope yes, right? Everybody paying attention what I'm doing, right? Why I'm holding those two. Good, good, good. So now, well, I cut two different, two different uh, patterns here, right? So what I want to do now, I will pick those together and I will glue them together like this. So spread the glue on one side. Spread the glue. If I'm going too quick, no worries. You can, this live will be keep in my website, in my um, in my YouTube channel, so you can make it a later time. No worries. Okay. Very good. Yes. So now you go right here and put your masking tapes because you want this to be very well attached together. Oh, okay. Okay, this is going to be so cute. People are paying attention. That's nice. Very clever. Very clever. Good, good, good. So now I have the two already here. Okay. You can even, if you have those little quilting clips, now you can even do use that to make sure that this will be very well glued. Good. So now let's do the same with the other two. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, let me start with this one. Okay, so I will put this. I'm not sure I will be right. <laughs> okay, there is no right and wrong or right here, right? It's just that we will be having fun 
there. So now the other two ones are together as well. You see here and here. <laughs> Oh, this fabric is just amazing, ladies. I love it. It's so much. What is this? I don't know. I probably bought because it's so old. It's probably from the time I came to US. In that time, I was basically buying fabric only at Joanne's. So most likely, but probably like eight or nine years ago. But I mean, you probably will find something in your, in your stash, right? nice okay very nice so now what yeah i ended up gluing that so now what what are we gonna be doing i think you got it right here you go but then as i said this is a ornament we need something to hang and how about we also have something to put on the bottom because i think it will be so nice so nice to make here to have a um a tassel as well let me show see that is in the right position so i'm gonna put a tassel oops let me glue a tassel right here uh, you need a little bit of masking tape just to make sure that it will hold my tassel in position okay Tense moment right here, but I know you already got what I'm doing, right? <laughs> and then this, this one here is my now, my uh, on the top. And you can even wait for these to dry, those two to dry separate before you finish, okay? I, of course, don't want to do that because I want to finish in front of you. But you can do that if you prefer to make sure that I will be glue at their position. Okay. That's so adorable. <laughs> like, glad you guys like it. Okay, so now I would appreciate a, a third hand here to, <laughs> to hold this. And then, of course, what you need to do, just finish. Just finish this one. So you spread the glue very well, you see. And I try to do this first with cardstock already. And let me tell you, the cardstock didn't, I didn't like because it was too thin. So I would go at least with poster board or cereal box, no less than this, okay? Because then it's not, uh, it's not sturdy enough, it's hard to glue here. It's not that, not bad once are, was done, but to make was difficult, okay? So now let me hold my tag. Oh, I like my quilt my <laughs> for that. And then just put it top. Just make sure that you have your tassel exactly where you probably want it to be very there, right? Uh, yes. And then you put your masking tapes all around. Yes, virtual hug, Nancy. Nice, nice to see. Nancy said that she's gonna make, can't wait to make these cute projects. Just watching and you make more boxes, Catherine said. Nice, very good, very good. She said, I'm a great teacher. Thank you so much, Catherine. I, I'm just so passionate about that. When I made the first one of this one, I said, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to share this because this is so fun. So fun, isn't that? I definitely love it. So, so much. Okay, so I think I can already remove this pin now. And, uh, well, <laughs> I think you got it. I uh, I will not hold right because this needs to dry. But is it, after I remove this masking tape, you will see how fantastic it will be. So make sure that they are all like uh, straight here and neat. Now let me share the one I made already that is completely dry. And I made actually, of course, the same fabric I made <laughs> the rest, all the same fabric around it. So, but yes, we have like blacks and reds. It's really fun. But when, once I had that done, I said, oh, I could have put a tassel. And I do think that adding a tassel, it was a great idea. Isn't that? Oh my goodness. I love it so much. 
What do you think, guys? What do you think, ladies? I can, please, I want to see tons of pictures of this in our Facebook group, okay? Because it's really, really, really fun. And I know you can find interesting fabrics in your house. We all have those Christmas fabrics just waiting to do something, right? And you can also share these with your group of sewing, you know, group of quilts, because how amazing is that, right? How amazing, yes, you can share. If you want to also say, well, I learned this from Claudia from Colorway Arts, it's so fun, I would really appreciate. But I mean, let's just spread the joy, like right? let's spread the joy. Nancy, we are here with us. Delightful. You are so inspiring. Thank you, Nancy. So glad to see you here. So many of you, so many people here not, already know Nancy, right? Thank you, Nancy. So much to see you here. Adorable. Very nice. Adorable. Delightful. We are so inspiring. That's so much. I found some cute tassels on sale at Hobby Lobby. Even better, Marlene, even better. Now I have a use for them. <laughs> so cute, so cute, so cute. Yes, that's that's really fantastic. Okay, so I will let this now uh, dry, right? Because then this one I would, you said, you saw I put a lot of like, um, I put a lot of glue in the middle especially because it was like cereal box and mainly because I, I covered early this afternoon. So the piece itself was already dry. So I put more glue so it could stay together. If you cover and go ahead and do, it's more like flexi flexible. It's maybe can be a little easier to do. And uh, so wait that to dry. I would say at least three or four hours before you remove the tape. And then just go to the Facebook group and put pictures because we want to be inspired and have lots of fun. So many fun ideas. I love how simplify. <laughs> I love how you simplify everything for a rocky non-crafter like me. <laughs> so nice, Ashita. That's good to hear. Debbie, this was such a fun day. That's so good. I have a tassel maker. Oh my goodness. Then this is another thing, huh? I have a tassel maker. Now I can justify the purchase. <laughs> I think so. Many quil quil quilters might have the X and more roller to cut quickly. Yes. Now, as we are talking about axes, before I go on in even further, because now I, I just really want to show very quick something else that is the presentation I was so willing to share in the morning, but I want to share now because I know we have people here that are new, never saw, saw this, right? And um, But I, I want to share before, I want you to see as we are doing the access, I want you to see something that is kind of a, the, one of the announcements I said I would do. Let me see what else we have here. Watching the, if you use a pentagon instead of hexagon, can you, let me see, Sheila, that's a question, let's see. If you use a pentagon instead of hexagon, you can make an ornament to stand up on table. Oh, ah, that's nice. I have to test it, Sheila. Thanks for the idea. Very good, very good. Do you have any picture or something or should I figure out? <laughs> Very good, yes. If you have more ideas like this, please let me know. I'm always looking for something that is fun to do because I love doing boxes and all those stuff and like the wonder chest, lots of drawers and hidden things and lots of things. But sometimes I just want to have fun 10 minutes and do something little, small. And to be very sincere, when we start now the time of, uh, for example, the Christmas time, I love so much put Christmas song. The kids' Christmas song. You, if you listen me to, you think I'm crazy, but not. You know, they when we moved to US, my kids were really small, and they loved some some Christmas song that I and then I loved that so much. It was one of the ways they start learning English a lot and singing those songs. And so now, when it's getting more close to that, I put those Christmas song again and come over here and just relax and have fun and make out those stuff. It's so nice. Yes, Regina is saying that this ornament construction works with circles too. 
Good, very good. Yeah, so we can do so many variations are possible. Is this being recorded? Yes, Melissa, that will continue to be in the um, in my YouTube channel, in the Facebook group, uh, Facebook page. Okay, so yes, you can continue doing. Elizabeth, thank you so much. She said, this has been the best. Thank you, Elizabeth. Love you. Anita asking if we, instead of masking tape, can you use paint, painter's tape? Yes, you can. I personally never use, but every time we have these events, there are so many people posting pictures in the Facebook group using painter's tape and work. So that's okay. You can work. I know it will work. A lot of cutting. That's nice. Wonderful. Okay. So, <clears throat> Laura said, I'm surprised by the regular glue. Do you ever need something stronger? No, Laura, I have to tell you, here is the glue all. This is what I use. I have to tell you that now inside the member, the, the club, we are, we had a, <laughs> we had a challenge recently and we had to, we had, uh, you know, members were doing different projects and then we had a votation and, uh, uh, the most voted project was the double toolbox. And I will show in a minute the picture of the toolbox, but the double toolbox that will be now our toolbox with a drawer. And I'm doing something different from the front. <laughs> and then last week in our Zoom meeting in the club, we were discussing, I was showing because I want ideas, because I want to make that box as close as we need for our feet. So I will do the size we want in the front and in the shape that everybody prefers and then okay after the meeting i i decided that i had to unglue part of the box that i have done so i could do a different front without making the full box again so i post the picture another day it's so hard once you do something that is wrong and you have to unglue I mean, it's hard. I mean, <laughs> really hard. So I use a lot of water in between. I will use some tool, like a knife or something that can really separate. And you have to be strong to make sure and go in separate because this glue is really strong. You don't need anything more strong than that. No. What did you do to score the hexagon so you could fold? This was a scoring tool I have in the shop, I think. Scoring tool, but you can use a bone folder or the back of your pen sometimes, you know. <laughs> okay, very good. Spend, thank you very much. Okay, it'll be lots of things. Okay, so now let me share what I did for the with the axis. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, yes, Jeanette, it's so good to, to know this. Okay, so I was playing with the hexagons. And then, okay, and then let me share here what I did. So I made this one, like I pick a very small one, and then I even I even went smaller. So how did I, how did I uh, cover the same way I covered that one, right? So this is one of them. And then I decided to, oh, let me see how fun it will be to do a little bit more so I can, um, I can uh, put in my basket. So the first one I did, actually the first one was a little bigger. I did like this, okay? So I just went random and I glued this like here. And I noticed that I should have something a little different, like a method to be easier, a method to plan first and know what would be, because I, I thought that would be too big. So after I tried something, I just went and I did something else. And then what I did was this one. And I like it even better because now I was learning how to do something different. And if you are, if you're a quilter, it looks like English paper piecing, but it's not. You know, this is a no sew. And then I made that one. It was so fun to play with the fabrics. I love the puzzle stuff, right? 
And then I said, okay, what else can I do? So that's how I did with this fabric. So I said, what else can I do to coordinate? And then I decided to do this one, right? So look at the journal cover with different things again, all these things. And then what's happened? We can go on and on and on and on with that, right? On and on and on. So there are different ways for doing this. And I would love to hear your opinion on that because I don't know if you are someone that would think that would like to do something like this, let me know because I'm planning in have like a, something like I can do a masterclass, I can do a new course, I can just, you know, share. I don't want to share just in a live because I want what I really want about this is give you the template and the full idea of how to do that is easy, proven to be easy and fun. <laughs> okay. So this is what I really want to learn, to hear from you. Do you want to learn this? Should I keep going with this idea and do something that we can have lots of fun with that? Again, this is no so. Okay. It looks like a pay, uh, English paper piece, but the papers are here. And uh, of course we cannot use that for something we're gonna wash, but I will play with a lot of my projects with different designs and different shapes. And I can offer to you a lot of ideas. Okay, let me know. Wow, very cute. Yes, I would be interested. Yes, I could cover the entire lead with axes, absolutely. Looks like the quilt pattern grandma's flower garden. Beautiful. Nice. Me too. Yes, I've got a lot of quilt fabrics I can use for the axis. Very nice. Please keep going with it. Yes, I like it a lot. Sound good. Sound good. Yay, yay, yay. Good, good, good. I, I'm so excited. When I do something you guys say that you like, I'm even more excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. That was so nice. Okay, I love all the axes. Yeah, and I, I mean, the possibilities are endless because then I was looking, I was in the kitchen yesterday and I saw something I bought in Brazil long ago that I bought uh, in a trip that we went there. It's something to put like a hot pan on top. It, it's made in wood, but it has so many it's not an axi, but it's another shape that goes together so well. And the design is so pretty. Then when I look at that, I said, oh, I found another shape that I can use. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. I used to do, oh, look at, look at this. We have lots of, I think I don't need this anymore. So let me remove because this is just complicating my life here with my computer. Oh, much better now. Love Tilda fabrics. Oh yes, those are Tilda fabrics that I was using. Punch the, yeah, you can punch the sizes of punch in the hexagons in with Fiskars punches. That's okay, wonderful. Love the axis. Thanks, Julia, I have instructions to make taxes. Yes, that's lovely. Vintage axons that I could use, definitely interest, yes. Very good. A trivet, I don't know what is that. Search for Lucy Boston paper piece in designs. Right, you take a look, Jill, thank you. Very good. So now that you saw everything here, before I go to the giveaways, right? Don't go anywhere. I just want to share very quick that quick presentation uh, I passed the, there are a bunch of pictures, okay? But I want to share that because I think it's, oh, okay. You set your hot pot on that, yes. Uh, I don't want to do that, but the, I mean, the design was so good that I can make the design and put the design in our projects. That's what I meant. Yes. Which size of the car cutter do you recommend? I think, Sarah, most of those uh, that have the car cutter use the, uh, have the 15 or the 18 inches. It depends what you are, you know, using. I think the 12 is too small, okay? But the, at least 15 inches, I think, would be a good idea. Sure, I can use some of them, yes. 
play to put the part. Okay, thank you. You blow your mind. Fussy cutting at its finest. Oh my goodness, Lucy Boston. I have to put the name here because you know I'm gonna forget. Lucy Boston. Wonderful. Very good. Nice. So let me go to my presentation very quick. Uh, during the presentation, I will not be able. Um, during the presentation, I will not be able to. I will not be able to see the comments. Okay, but as I said, it will be very quick. So if you guys want to talk to each other <laughs> there, but I can see after I come back from that. Okay, let me go here and see what I. Oops, not there. Here. Uh, very quick slideshow. Okay, so I hope everything, everyone is seeing my page now. Okay, and um, this is, you know, just about the cartonage fabric boxes. Let me just ask this for a bit. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure, yes, oh, sorry for that, sorry for that. Okay, go back that. <laughs> and um, now let's go to my presentation. Okay, you guys are seeing that. Just very quick, because I know everybody, now it's even like, uh, like saying something that you already have tried or seen my videos, it's even better. So just for you to be aware what is cartonage, and I like to say that cartonage is not something that, you know, it was like uh, originated here two years ago. No, this is so old technique that was originated in France long, long ago, okay? And um, just for you to know that the difference between the French method and what we do is that the French method, they first build the boxes and then they cover different than what we do here that you see yes today in our videos we first cover the pieces then we put together it's just different preferences right but something that is makes the whole difference in the world and this is a brazilian variation because it was a guy in brazil some years ago that did that right materials are very simple you saw already right paper chipboard poster board craft paper fabric elmer's glue even better right and our fabric. We have two options, basically. You can start from the scratch, as we are just talking here in the chat. You can buy the tools to cut by hand, or you can start from do-it-yourself kits that has convenience, that has all the pieces already in the sizes needed, and go from there. So it's really up to you, your choice. Here's my toolbox that I was saying before, one of my best sellers ever, we love. And now inside the club, we are working in this here to put a drawer in a different front. And it's so amazing and unique. I'll show you in a minute the other one as well. I wanted to share these pictures because this is the same box we made today, the small little box, but this one is the medium. And you can do different things on the lid, not just the embellishments I did today, but look at this, this is applique, right? So you can do, whoa, you can do, I mean, so many different things you can apply. Uh, machine embroidery, hand embroidery, the possibilities are really endless, okay? So this is just something, just a few juice here to, uh, to show you more. Something I just picked recently from our Facebook group and some of others that I just found, amazing. Go to the Facebook group and look how many beautiful things people are making. You know, this is so fantastic. This is something recent and something that was made this year or last year. Take a look how amazing. I could stay the whole day here showing pictures of what students are doing, what I do, and that's not intention, but it's so amazing to see how we can grow our skills as we go and as we build something new. It's really amazing. Now about me, <laughs> a little late to say, if you didn't know about me, I'm Claudia Skill. I know I have, at this time point of the time you know, but I'm Claudia Skill, I'm from Brazil, and here's where I am in Brazil, in the south of Brazil, in Santa Catarina. And uh, I moved to US, uh, but actually here, so I'm from Brazil. And in Brazil, I used to be a food engineer, 
Did you answer the quiz already? I used to be a food engineer, so I work in industries with making mayonnaise, ketchup, a lot of other things, you know. But at certain point in my life, I started getting so depressed and I don't want to enter this conversation, but I want just to tell you that I was so depressed that I didn't have any purpose in my life that was so difficult. And one of the persons that helped me so much in that time was a lady called Bernadette. And she is Charlotte's mom. And she is in Brazil. She has a school for special needs with uh, kids with special needs. And I will talk about this a little later. But I want you just to remember that lady was someone like an angel in my life. And that's the reason I love her so much. And that's the reason I want to help them as much as I can. So here's where I was, a food engineer, and then, oh, okay, I, I, I thought I had more things. But here is, let's talk about and jump, right? Because I picked some, something from the morning presentation and something from the evening, uh, afternoon presentation. So here's what I showed to you, and I will do something. Uh, if I, whatever I do will be part of the club, of course, right? And... Um, Probably will be an online course because I need, I want to give you so many templates and that's the best, my online school is the best place. And let me see what else. Well, what else? Growth of the cartonage. Why cartonage is so fun and, and so many people are having so much fun because it's lots of fun, it's relaxing, it's a different way of using fabrics, right? Instant gratification, I hear that a lot. It's a great way to make gifts, right? And it's so professional finishing. So I hope you agree. And if you have any more reasons, let me know what is so, so fun. And then I have one special invitation for you. Maybe you are already a member of the club. I will not read this here out. But if you love fabrics, if you want to use your stash of fabrics, if you want to keep gluing, the best place you can be with us is in our cartonage club. And this is my invitation for you, just letting you know that I also opened the club today. So if you want to join us, it's your time. You can join the link in the description of this video. I will send by email. The club will be open for a few weeks. So think about that. If you want to keep doing with us, that's your choice. For this program, for this National Day, members have access to the bonus that is making the lead so fantastic. So if you join today, you can already go there and make the lead for your lead basket. Fantastic. We have today over 22 courses with over 60 projects. Okay, I don't know. I will not go over all of them because it's a lot. But I just want you to know that there are a lot of projects, lots of fun. You can take your time, choose what you want to do. Lots of instructions, dimensions, templates, detail, everything. What I want to tell you, what is next in the club? So now, next month, October, I will be releasing a new co online course that it is uh, available for members, will be directly in the members area. If you are not a member, you can purchase separate, but it will be for members. This is a new Treasure Chest Plus that is my project of my book that I uh, I was invited to go to Virginia to make a, to teach a class and change a little bit this project that was from my book. And then I include a hidden compartment. And where is the hidden compartment? Right there on the back of the box. It's so amazing. Looking at the picture is not as amazing as looking at the box itself. And this will be in the, in the course in October. Lots and lots of fun. Then, what's next? In, in October, we're going to have our online cartonage retreat. We have every year. This year, we have a guest that's so special. And here's what I said. We are discussing this right now inside the members area. What will be the front of the box? One of those three or none of them, and I will do something different. <laughs> so we are discussing this, and this is what I can tell you. We are a family. We have Zoom meetings. We can talk and discuss. We have a community where we can vote and give ideas. So it's really fantastic. Here's how it looks inside. Uh, you can go to colorwayarts.com slash club projects to see how 
that we have there, right? All the projects that are included. Members have always 10% of discount. Members have double points in the rewards program. Members also get points for being a member in forever purchase. Plus every six months, I give points for about 30 to receive $30 off. So like here in this example, you can see that the membership in like in six months, for example, you can even receive like 36 off in the shop just for being a member. So this is super nice. And uh, I mean, we have Zoom meetings and well, this is the club open now. You can go to colorwayarts.com slash club and uh, join when you want, okay? And I will keep open for about two weeks. And uh, that is that is a great, great opportunity. I hope you enjoy if you like want uh, want to be part of that will be so wonderful. We will be so ready to to receive you in case you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I can see the big the, the questions I didn't see here, so let me see. Those boxes are fantastic. Okay. Because it's for you falling or hurt and seeking more. That's beautiful. You look so much happier teaching carton. <laughs> Absolutely, Debbie. I do agree with that. You look so much happier teaching cartonage. Aren't we looking just I'm so glad. I always say, I mean, God knows better, right? That that's just just my answer. I look at the I said, I know, I know it was you. I know it was you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, because, I mean, it wasn't exciting to teach people how to wash hands, right? That's no one wants to learn how to wash hands. <laughs> it's more, much more exciting to show how to do ornaments. Absolutely. When will the club open? It's up and open right now, Stephanie. Okay, if you go to the description of the video, wait for finish because we have the giveaways now, and then after that, we can go. October looks great, amazing. Yes, should have been a bit more patient. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the club is a great family of gluers. We have such fun, love the club. Club members get automatically renewed, or we need. Do we need to renew it ourselves, Catherine? No, it's automatically renewed. What you do if you don't want to keep with us because you can cancel anytime, then you go inside the members area and cancel, okay? But if you don't cancel, it goes every month or every year, you can choose what you want. I didn't say the price, right? But it's 27 per month or 277 per year and you can cancel anytime. If you are trying to think, oh, I don't know if I will like or not, then choose the monthly one because then if you want to cancel, you can cancel. The annual one, it, you have 30 days to ask for a refund. After 30 days, I cannot give you the refund anymore. And it's so it's hard for you if you choose the annual one and decide to like cancel next month it will be more difficult. So if you are not completely sure, do the monthly one. Okay, hope you like and love. And then next time I open, you can change for NO if you want. Nice. On my end, it appears blurry. I'm not sure if others have experienced that. I don't know. Is the purse included in the cartonage club? What is the purse? Yes, we have the new purse. We have lots of things. Okay, so go to colorayarts.com slash club projects. And you see all the pictures there. That's what we have right now, okay? And we always have more. And I forgot to sell to tell you that inside the club, I also show how to do any size you want. So you can design your own box, okay? Karen said, this is my second year as a member and I'm addicted. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I'm so glad it's a good addiction, right? Yes, because I'm addicted too. <laughs> I finished one now to work on the next Halloween box. What a great day. Thank you, Karen. How you share today? This has been so fun. Very good. I'm 100% happy that I joined in the club. It's just so wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Much love. Much love. That's what so amazing to hear. Okay, so now let's do some giveaways. 
Yes, yes, yes. Let me drink some water a little bit first. I will do something different this time, okay? Last year, last year when we, so what's your, <laughs> what's my favorite Disney character? What do you guys think? I put there, there is a clue on Facebook. Yesterday, I posted a picture with my favorite Disney character. So I will not tell you, Linda, what is that? Or Jeanette, I will not tell you what is that. You go to the Facebook group, search, look at the pictures, on the side, you can see all the pictures. Find something I show. I posted posted yesterday with my favorite character. And one day we we will just talk about that. I love I love her so much. Hands hands down, I love her. Okay. So last year, talking about giveaways. Last year, I I just picked the list of those that registered and choose some. Right, randomly, I, I choose the numbers, like I, I use a program and choose, draw some numbers. That wasn't a good experience because lots of those that receive gifts was, weren't here with me in the lives. And some of them didn't participate in the National Card Lunch. They didn't answer my email, so it was not a good thing. Others, more than what I was expecting, more from other countries. So more than giving away the gifts, I have to pay international shipping. <laughs> so I, I hope you can understand. And I, uh, what I decide to do now is this. We're going to divide the giveaways in two parts. One part is now. We're going to quickly choose here some people for those. And... Uh, and uh, tonight I will sh I will find or maybe tomorrow night. Tomorrow night I will go to the Facebook group and I will select. I will do a, a one uh, drawing to find some winner from the post with pictures with the joy. Okay. And Tuesday in our live 10:30 a.m. I will draw more gifts because then will be from the quiz for those that submit to the quiz so I know there are people that are really participating, right? And the Tuesday, I will also give gifts for members. So if you join the club before Tuesday, you will be also entering together with all the other members for that. And I on Tuesday, I will also uh, find and draw the gift for the groups that share pictures, okay? So this will be on Tuesday. Today, I want to do something a little different. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Um, no, tomorrow night I will not do a live to, to draw. I will just draw something and then I will put the winner in the Facebook group. Okay. Love the. Okay. So, what I want now is let's see. Let's see. No problem, uh, Wendy. Got kids with no joy. No problem. You, you, I saw your pictures. You are, you are in the, in the, the drawing for sure. Now let's see here. Super community to have a membership. I have very fun day. Wonderful. So what I want to to do different now is this. Let's start with beginners. Okay, just beginners, please. So I will ask you if you don't have any tools if you are just starting you don't have the tools yet you are a beginner please put so only if you are liking this okay put in the comments i want or i or me or something i am because then i know you are a beginner and then i will draw a number here and i will count in order that i'm receive i'm reading and that person will receive a starter kit, which is all the tools necessary, you know, to make the, the cartonage projects, like the spacers, the corner tool, and something to make a, a, a mini sewing kit and a single box. Okay? Yes, I am, I am. I see people saying, I'm a beginner, I'm a beginner, I'm a beginner. Very good, very good, very good. So let's see who of those beginners... Ha, Karin, you got it. <laughs> just beginning, just beginning. Okay, so I will now pick a number right here. That's me, a beginner. I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. 
Wow, that would be awesome. Let's see here. So I will find the number, then I will count in order of what you said. I'm beginning, beginning, and I will find someone. Okay? Good. So I think no more, no more beginners. So let me see what is in I am still people saying. Okay, I picked the number already. Pick the number already. <clears throat> I'm a beginner, I'm a beginner. Okay, so let's see. Chun, 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 chun. The number is nine. So let's see who was the nine person that I can see here in my screen that said is a beginner. Okay, let's go there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Donna Flint, Donna Flint, you are the winner of the starter kit. So please send me an email, okay? I if I for some reason I can't find your email, but I probably will. Uh, send an email to Claudia at colorayarts.com, and then you give me your. Um, address if I don't have it, and then I will send it to you, okay? Yay! Congrats, Donna! Thank you so much! So now, let's see who else. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Very good. So now I have a... I have a tea box kit. Now I have a tea box kit, okay? And uh, let's see who can who can win this. Well, the tea box kit. Oh, uh, Donna, do you live in the US? I hope so. Okay, so I forgot to sell, to tell you that if you don't live in the US, if none of, uh, if you don't live in the US, don't comment now from now on because. What's happened is that uh, I will do one drawing just for those outside of US because then you're going to receive something digital online, okay? Then I don't need to pay shipping and kits and everything, and you don't need to pay custom for something you're going to receive. So I think we'll be better, okay? Let's see. Okay, so now the tea box kit. Let's see if that will work that way. Maybe it will be too much people asking for that. Okay. Uh, yes, we are practically neighbors. I'm in Toledo. Oh, Donna, good, good, wonderful. So that's wonderful. Now, who wants the tea box kit? Go to the, the comments now and say me or I, something like this. Who wants the tea box kit? Okay, we have other kids later. Who really wants to make the tea box? But in the comments so I can see and find something here, okay. Me, 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 interested. Me, 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 me. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now let me pick a number. Hopefully it's not. I have several numbers here, but maybe this is more people asking than I could. Oh, no, it's another lower number. <laughs> number seven. So, yeah, you can stop saying me because it's enough. Let's go back and count seven. Okay, I like the tea box. I like the tea box. Me, 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 When I started the tea box. Okay. Oh my goodness. Me, me, me. Oh my gosh. Okay, found it. Okay. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, three. Four, five, six, seven. Sandy Ross. Sandy Ross. Sandy Ross, you got the T box. Thank you so much. And I think you are a beginner too, right? You said you are a beginner. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sandy. So, Sandy, as well, you can send me an email just in case if I don't have your email or something, just put in 
send to Colorway Arts, um, Claudia at colorwayarts.com, and I will send you the tea box kit, right? Oh my goodness, now the next one. The next one, I will do that. I will pick a number and multiply by two because I think I just put numbers too low. <laughs> so whatever number I pick there, I will multiply by two. I have number one as well. So maybe it's really people in the beginning. So I will multiply, multiply by two because now what I have is the two box kit. Okay, two box kit. So let's see who wants to make the two box our best seller, right? So let's see who wants to make that one. And let's, I will say now, yes, let's start. Let's start. Who wants the two box kit? Put it me there, okay? And then I will pick a number. And as I said, I'm going to multiply by two. And once I said enough, it's enough, okay? So just put it there. Let me see what is that, okay? Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. I already have my number. Let's see who will be with the, that one. Okay, so we have number six now. So if number six, it's give me 12, because I said I would multiply by two, right? Two box, so let's go back there and find who wants the two box. Two box, two box, two box. Let's start. Who said two box the first time? Me, 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 two box, two box, two box. Yes. Yes, let's say 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So look at that, we have Kate, Kate Le Leflin, I don't know how to say that. So thank you so much, thank you so much, Kate, for that. Let me know, I don't recognize your name, so you probably are also kind of new to us, so please send me an email at claudia at coloryarts.com if for some reason I don't find you and don't send to you, so I will be providing and send you the toolbox for you um, there, okay? Very good, very good, very good. Okay, well, this is always always something that, that in some point I love doing giveaways, right? Because I love being able to, to do that, but it's so, sometimes I got so sad that, oh my gosh, no, everybody can win, but that's 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 the way right okay so now let's do the other country so now only if you are from another country if you are not living in the u.s you put here that you want and that you in the price will be one my uh online course it's called cartoonage made by you okay so if you if you are from another country Put it here, I am, I want, or something like this. And then I can see how many we have here and I can, we can do maybe if there's only one, let's see who is, who are here from other country. Maybe we don't have any. Huh. I am from UK, okay. From Canada, Daniel International, okay. Okay, Valerie, I know. Yes, Yersinia, agree. I'm in another country. I'm from Canada. Yes, your teachings are our gift. So oh, thank you, Lee. Okay, let's see now. Okay, we have some other countries. For Argentina, Daniela, so nice. Let's see here for other country. For other country. <clears throat> okay. We have number three. So let's see another country. I had I had uh, up numbers as well. <laughs> they are just coming the lower today. That's okay. Okay, so we start with Jillian. Jillian was the first one. So one, two, three. 
So here we have Liz Brissett Bisson. Liz Brissett Bisson. Okay. So Liz, please send me an email as well to Claudia at colorwayarts.com and I will give you the um the access to my course online course and i hope you love it and make it the course to make the cigar box and the notepad cover okay thank you so so much for that and now and now okay okay yes oh that's more people here very well congrats congrats nice okay so the rest of the giveaway will happen so for those uh, in, the, in the sharing pictures in the Facebook group, I will do a bad, like a better, no, not a better, where I say, I will, it's not picking like this. <laughs> I will see how many, I will draw a number from the many we have, and then that person will be the winner, okay? For, for the normal pieces, not for the groups, not for the members that will be uh, off, then will be different. So on uh, on Tuesday, September 20, next Tuesday at 10.30 a.m., we're going to finish the giveaways because you can go to the quiz and answer to the quiz. That is, the link is there in the page of the tutorials of today. You will be entering gifts there and the groups already enter those that are sharing pictures of more people the quiz and the members and the pictures will be tomorrow okay so i hope you guys really love this great presentation yes thank you thank you thank you so much thank you it was wonderful now the last thing i want to tell you from like the bottom of my heart first i want first i want to well we have, I may have three things to say. <laughs> yeah, I think I have three things and we're going to finish it, okay? The first thing I want to tell you, go, if you uh, if you are willing to, to help Scholar Charlotte in Brazil, to help a little bit then, I said Charlotte was that lady that helped me in the my depressive times. She's a wonderful person. If you didn't have a chance to watch the video that she is giving a so powerful message that video is in our uh the page for the tutorials okay before the tutorials there's a video where you're gonna meet daddy that is my friend and she is giving such a powerful message that i really want you to to hear that message. You don't need to donate any, anything if you can't or if you don't want, but listen to that message. That video, every time I watch that video, I cry because it's so wonderful. She is such an uh, angel in this world. And I would love if you can go and watch and get that message for you. That's number one I want to say. And if you can donate, of course, the the, the button to donate is down uh, below that. So you can also go and do that. OK, so this is the first thing I want to tell you. The second thing I want to tell you is the club is open. OK, so if you are ready for more fun with us, we're going to love to receive you inside the club. Um, if you have any question, let me know during the club. We are still open for about two weeks. And then in this time, we're going to have more live. I can share more ideas. I can share inside the club if, if you need it, OK? Let's do this as clear as we can, because that's the last time I'm opening the club this year. And uh, because we have October, we have that hidden compartment box that is fantastic. November, we have the retreat. So it's a busy time for us inside the members. So I cannot be receiving new members during that time. So we are receiving now. And after that, just maybe as a Christmas gift or something, but then you don't have time to make your Christmas gift if you wait. So that is the best way. You can use PayPal without having an account. Uh, I think so I, i'm not sure now sorry very good very good okay so that is that is the second thing right the club is completely 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 uh, open and we are you know open heart open 
for you. So let me, if you have any question, let me know because this is really a decision for you. Inside the club is where I can serve you at my best, is where I have hours and hours and hours of tutorials. So many things right there that it's hard to share outside of that because the online school is really made for that, to accommodate all the tutorials and all our ideas, okay? And uh, last thing I want to tell you, last thing I want to tell you, because last night, last year, when I finished the National Cartonage Day, I had a message for you that was from Detti, my friend from Brazil. When my kids were, were like young, she taught me something so powerful to do with my kids. And I did that for so long and was so amazing. I shared that in the last minute of the National Day and I love it how we finish. So this year I was thinking, how can I finish this National Day? Because we had so much fun gluing. We're gonna keep gluing, right? The tutorials, you can keep seeing them for 10 days. If you decide not to join the club, you can still see them for 10 days and all of this stuff. But how we can, um, how I can finish this now, right? And then I was, I went to sleep yesterday and I woke up during the night. And this is so common to me to wake up during the night with ideas. And I, I had this idea and I think, yeah, that's why I want to finish this year, right? Because one of the questions I put in the quiz, what is more important in cartonage, right? And the correct answer is having fun. That's what I want, right? That's what I want for you. That's what I want for me, because I know the power of this. I know that I just overcame the depression time and all those stuff. And I'm here so happy because I'm gluing, because I'm doing something with my hands and I'm connecting with my inner child, right? So what I want to, to finish this is also tell you that in this last two years, let's say, I have been going through a personal develop, like with my emotions and all those stuff. And something that I have been doing so much is talking with my inner child, with my little girl. You know, I have pictures of my of myself small all over the house. So when I see those pictures, I look at that and I smile and I remember that little child is here inside me. And what I want to tell you is that it's there inside you as well. You have that little child every day inside you. And what I love and what I have doing in these last years, every time I feel some fear or some sadness or I mean some something, I kind of close my eyes and see that little girl. Sometimes I'm hanging like hands with her. And then I feel, what do you need for me? And I have, when I was a child, my nickname was Neca or Nequinha. This is how they call me. And then I, I always say, Nequinha, what do you want from me, Nequinha? And then I look in the mirror and said, I love you, Claudia. I love you, Nequinha. And so to finish now, what I want for you is to do this with me. And I do that a lot of time. So put your hands like this in front of you. I know you are doing that. Put your hands in front of you. Now pick one of your hands and put it here. Now pick the other hand and put it here. Now I want you to close your eyes and give you a huge hug, huge hug. And I want you to feel and see your little child smiling to you. And then you're gonna say, I love you. And you say your name. So I will say, I love you, Claudia. I love you, Nakinha. And I hope you can do that as well for you as many times as you want. This is amazing. This is freedom. This is healing. This is just another thing that together with our gluing is so fantastic and so amazing. So never forget that your inner child, that little child inside you loves gluing. <laughs> yes. Remember the kindergarten was so fun and still is, right? 
Very good, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you for the reminder and the way to reach me. Yes, everybody needs, we all need that, right? Thank you for teaching today, giving your heart as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, my friends, love you too, Claudia. <laughs> Thanks, Marlene, I love you so much. Thanks for the hug. This, this is so good. When I go to sleep, I also do that, you know, I, I kind of sleep that way in the side. And then I love doing that and, and really talking to that because sometimes we are afraid and it's that really little child is afraid. And when you hug and say, it's all right, it's all right, it's so nice, it's so fantastic. Yes, very good. Nice to see this had such a wonderful sensation saying I love you to my inner child while giving her a hug. That's wonderful. Thank you, Cindy. Love you so much. Send you hugs. Yes. Hugs to all. Yes. Now let's do that to end this, this day because it's so fun, so fun. Let's shake a little bit. High five, everybody. High five. I love it. I love it. I will see you again on Tuesday at 10 30 a.m. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Um, let me. I forgot to tell something, but very important. I received packages today in my house. I was waiting for these fabrics for ever and just came today. I didn't have time to look again, but I will show you on Tuesday, okay? So more than everything, I will show you beautiful fabrics on Tuesday. So we came here with us and I love you so much. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of our your week next week and I will keep seeing you and for everybody that is joining the club thank you so much you know that we are so happy waiting for you inside and if you have any problem any issue anytime just let me know and I will be very glad to help you and if you are unsure if the club is for you or if the club is not I also send me an email send me all your questions and I will help you to have the great decision for you. That's my, my best goal here. Thank you so much. Love you too. Love, love you all. <laughs> See you another day. Bye-bye. What time are you going live on Tuesday? 10.30 a.m. Easter time, Donna. Okay. I keep looking at some of the comments here. Okay, <laughs> but if you want to go, that's okay. Take care. I will. Yes, don't forget the pictures. The real deal. She walks the talk, not talk. She walks the talk, not just talk the talk. <laughs> That's interesting. A super fun day learning in gluing. I will continue to be in touch with the inner child. That's fantastic, Karen. Thank you so much for letting me know that. That's so fun. So nice. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye, everybody. See you. Love you too. Love you all. <laughs> Crazy. Bye-bye.